Yo, what's up, everyone? So, welcome to Dano Crypto. My name is Daniel Curtis Hughes, and on this channel, I show you guys how to make simple, quick, easy, and effective moves in the cryptocurrency ecosystems. So, I hope everyone is having a fantastic Wednesday. I tried to do a live stream, but my bandwidth was being crazy, so... Um, I just said I'm just going to do a raw upload here. And so the point of this video is to go into Morales Money, and we are going to see what coins are getting traction right now. So we've seen Bitcoin be pretty volatile right now. Um, it broke the resistance of 30K recently, but then it turned into um, a little bit of a divergence from that price. Now it's back in the 29s, uh, went down about uh, 3 4%. And um, so what we're looking at here is, let's just go into a quick little market recap uh, Bitcoin right now is sitting at 29,463. What's interesting, it was at 30,400 something uh, just recently. So we saw in the past 24 hours uh, dip uh, a good 2%, almost 3%. Um, but on the seven day, it's only been down 2%. So it really has still been holding pretty strong. Um, uh, looking at everything else, we got, uh, we got Ethereum, uh, on the hourly up 1.27%. We have BNB, um, just kind of skirting around that $300 mid range. Uh, let's see, we got Dogecoin up 3%. We got Matic, um, up just 1%. Yeah, let's see what's looking here on the hourly on the first 100 page. Uh, the render token, that's been getting some traction, the render token. Um, I tried to trade into that. I traded into it a little bit, um, but uh, wasn't very successful. It's sometimes hard to time, you know, time in the market. But uh, yeah, so that's just a little market uh, cap here. We are going to go into Morales Money now. So Morales Money. Um, if you do not know what Morales Money is, is it is a uh, token explorer for the um, for the chains of let's see what we have right now. We got they're running Ethereum, Binance, Polygon, Arbitrum, Phantom, and Optimism. So all on these protocols, you can search metrics in a query of when a coin was minted, the security score. You can see. The liquidity, you can see how many buyers and sellers, you can see um, the market cap, you can see all of these metrics, but you can combine them together. So, real simple, coin minted less than 40 days ago, and then we're going to also select the security score to be greater than 90, and then we are going to also set that there has been experienced buyers that have increased by at least 100 and that make it this month and look what we got okay so we have uh shibirium perpetuals we have hoot hobbs and dgen zoo so all of these have been minted less than 40 days ago you can see that the one that has the top uh holders is uh the Shibir shibarium perpetuals here um the b experience buyers has increased by 180 um so let's see let's see the let's see the dex tools here um, so on the DEX tools, it's going to give you the metrics about how much liquidity is actually locked, um, if, if it is locked. Um, we can see if there is a sell tax. See, if, see this one has a 5% sell tax. So that means if you're going to buy this coin, the moment you sell it, you're, you're going to get tax 5%. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. You don't let it completely deter you from buying an altcoin. Just know that like it, it, it's, it's, it's linked with the contract. So once you sign that contract, it, it, that's, it's, you're going to get taxed on it. But say this coin does get traction. Um, and you see that say, oh, look, people are buying it. You can see here, you can make a buy order. You can see how, how much people are buying. You can see this person right here, this address is buying two, two ETH worth. You can see when they're selling, try and find and watch their, uh, track their, track their buys and sells. This is what's cool about this, um, this platform, this Dex tools, um, you can do a lot with it. You know, you can connect your wallet to it. Um, you can use it as a swap. Um, but mainly I use it for the charts and just getting the information on this. And it's cool that I was already using Dex tools um, um, 
for the past year and a half, two years, and uh, Morales Money just implemented it, you know, as their aggregator for the data. So that's just um, something to look at. So that we got Siberium. So we go to look. Uh, we'll keep going. Um, this one's called Hoot, a bird's nest. And um, you guys, everyone, do your own research. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not, you know, I'm just someone who is just a crypto enthusiast. And uh, I am doing these videos to just help you guys do the same thing I'm doing. Just just get into it. And so you can see, you can tell if a chart, you know, looks like garbage or not. You can see if it has a big spike and then a big dump. This one doesn't seem to have crazy spikes. You know, it kind of, kind of, you know. Went up a little bit. See, so got one hundred percent right here. Kind of got went sideways, but you see here though. You see on April fifteenth, right here, you saw some traction. Now it's going back down on the down onto the downside, but we're on a twenty one percent dip. You always say buy in the red, sell in the green. So. You just got to do your own research, folks. You got to do your own research. All right, so we got Hobbs, Hobbs here. And let's check out Hobbs. Let's see what's going on with this Hobbs. Uh, low liquidity, um, no sell tax. Good, good deck score. Chart doesn't look terrible. See the holders. Um remaining holders yeah oh and so there's also something really interesting that you can that you can use is uh a tool called bubble maps which is also linked in dex so with bubble maps you can actually see the map out of where the um supply is in addresses so you can see basically like the top the top addresses for each token and you can see where and I love I love looking at this. Like for instance, like if you go to uh, if you want to look at Shib, since we were talking about Shib, Shiba Inu, forty one percent of the supply is in a dead address. So that's pretty. So I mean that that that's interesting. I think that's cool. Um, that shows that at least forty one percent of that supply can't be can't be touched so but still doesn't mean that they can't make more <laughs> it's not it's not deflationary i don't think unless they have some burning mechanism you know that's just burning crazy um that is what eth has now so with all the ethereum upgrades that have been happening um there is a burning mechanism and also it moved from proof of work to proof of stake and so we'll see over time if ethereum does become a true deflationary um, um, crypto where it can still, there's still can, can be, uh, more, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's an interesting metric. I, I still got to learn about it more, more myself, but yeah, if you want to use bubble maps, you can just kind of see some true on chain metrics here and it's pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, let's go back to, uh, let's go back to the token explorer to the main page and uh you can see here you can just kind of get started with pre-made filters you can see top coins ranked by new buyers this month so just go right into it and we can see that man and see these things have been on this out on this list i've been seeing this if you use morales money on a daily basis you're gonna see meme dow you're gonna see hex you're gonna see shib you're gonna see matic um, recently I've been seeing, uh, the Stargate token, the Stargate token. It's like, you see, it's been around for a long time, you know, it's not, not a long time, but, um, over a year. And, um, sometimes you want to kind of, you want to check on those projects and see if they're kind of starting to gain a little bit more traction. But sometimes when you have a, a project, like some old projects, like they'll, they'll, they'll dump and they'll never come back. So you just got to watch out for those. Um, I've seen a bone on here a ton. Uh, bone is part of the Shiba swap and is going to be something that is going to be implemented in the, in the Shibarium uh, ecosystem. Uh, that one's been getting tons of traction. Uniswap, I think Uniswap is starting to get get back in the game because, I mean, they're you got to think they're the OGs. They're the OGs in, in, in swaps, in decentralized DEXs, 
Um, so, and I, and there's rumor, I think that there, well, it's not rumor. I think it's, it's, it's confirmed that Apple is going to be, uh, implementing Uniswap into, uh, the iPhone. Let me see. Yeah. Uniswap and Apple. Yeah. Uniswap wallet on the app store. Um, oh, and well, no, so that's, uh, let's see. Uniswap, uh, Uniswap wallet goes live on iOS after Apple. Uniswap. Oh yeah, Uniswap wallet goes live on iOS after Apple App Store. Let's go until let's see. After Apple App Store challenges. So yeah, Uniswap's open source mobile wallet app allows users to trade on Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, and Optimism. So Uniswap Labs, a crypto firm behind the DeFi trading platform, Uniswap has secured a spot in Apple's App Store for their wallet app, the Uniswap Wallet iOS app, is now live for use in the U.S. and other select countries. The company announced Tuesday. Apple approved the wallet for use in several countries throughout the world. We'll con will continue to launch in other countries as soon as Apple lets us. That's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, if we want to go to Uniswap Labs on Twitter, we can go to Uniswap Labs on Twitter and um. Make sure that, yeah, 1 million followers. Let's follow them. I don't know why I'm not following them already. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, this is not a drill. The Uniswap mobile wallet uh, is out of Apple jail and now live in most countries. That's awesome. I mean, this is, this is we're, we're, making, we're making some traction here. So that's really cool. If you were in the, have been in the crypto game long and you were using, um, trying to connect to Uniswap, through uh, the browser mechanisms that that were a few years ago, it was terrible. I was like, you almost you felt like you were gonna get scammed. It's just it just the the setup and the 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 way it looked. It was like ah. But now now that it's a legit app, I mean, you just you'll feel better about it. This is for this is going to get more mainstream adoption, and and especially if the user interface, the UI is really good, then they'll will be doing great. All right, if everyone wants to say hello to my guest, Lilu Lilu Cat. <laughs> yeah, if I don't let her in the garage, she'll start she'll start meowing at me. She'll start um meowing at the door. So <laughs> All right. Well, let's just a little uh see what's uh, see what else is on here. Oh, Apecoin, Chainlink. Yeah. So these this is the stuff that would be probably smart to dollar cost average into because it's just constant buyers. So this is something that, you know, it, you should add add to your portfolio. Not financial advice, but, you know, just something something to think about. All right, guys. Well, I hope you've gotten some uh, alpha or any uh, cool info out of, this, uh, out of this video. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe. Subscribe. If you're watching this video right now, if you've made it this far, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what coins you want me to cover. If you comment a, on a coin that's, that's your favorite and you want a video about it, I got you. So um, I, I have fun making these videos and I want to connect with the community. I want you guys to just give me some feedback. I, I need it. Need it for the algorithm. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Wednesday. We're in the middle of the week. You guys can get through it. We're going to push through hard, and um, we're going to be in the green. So see you guys. Peace.